Ladies and gentlemen, it's long overdue that we put an end to the unjust scapegoating of video games. For too many years, this form of entertainment has been unfairly blamed for societal issues it plays no role in creating. This issue has persisted for decades, and it's about time we cut through the noise and delve into the heart of the matter. Allow me to make one thing abundantly clear. If a video game were to contribute to someone committing a crime or a heinous act, it will be primarily because they were already unwell and unstable. Despite numerous case studies and scientific research consistently demonstrating that video games do not cause violence, they continue to be unjustly demonized. Mass shootings and acts of violence are complex problems with multifaceted causes, yet video games are repeatedly singled out as an easy target. What's even more perplexing is how society tends to pathologize those who enjoy a few hours of gaming to unwind and escape the daily grind. It's as though, in the eyes of some, Playing a game is equivalent to having a mental disorder. This hypocrisy is truly baffling. To substantiate this assertion, let's refer to some reputable sources and studies. First, American Psychological Association. In 2017, the APA's Media Psychology and Technology Division released a statement clarifying that there is insufficient evidence to support the claim that violent video games lead to criminal violence. Second, Christopher Ferguson, 2019, a leading researcher in this field, conducted a meta-analysis of 28 studies and found no conclusive evidence linking violent video games to criminal behavior. Third, the Supreme Court of the United States. In the case of Brown v. Entertainment Merchants Association 2011, the Supreme Court ruled that research on the topic did not support a casual link between violent video games and harmful effects on children. And last but not least, International Society for Research on Aggression. The ISRA released a statement in 2020 emphasizing that decades of research have failed to establish a clear casual relationship between video game violence and real world violence. These sources, among others, underscore the lack of a concrete connection between video games Games and violent behavior. It's time for our lawmakers and politicians to shift their focus to evidence-based solutions. Rather than vilifying video games, let's begin asking the critical questions. When will we witness substantial updates to gun laws that address the root causes of violence? When will we prioritize mental health and provide the essential support and resources for those in need? These are the real issues that demand our attention, not groundless hysteria and scapegoating. It's time to set the record straight and hold our leaders accountable for addressing the genuine challenges we face as a society. Blaming video games is not the answer. It's time for substantive change and responsible solutions firmly grounded in evidence and research. TCM Black, signing out.